Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here, Cat and Paul. So, you're probably all wondering, what am I up to? It's been a hot minute, I know. Well, I'll show you in a minute, but we are moving. Yes, moving. Let me update you on everything that's going on. Where I plan to take this channel. Hope you hang with me for the long haul because it's going to be worth it, I think. Oh, my nails. I've chipped every nail I've had. We have the moving truck out there. I just took a quick break and decided to jump on here and give you an update because I've been meaning to. I was just finding the time. I'm still working for now at my full-time job I've had now for 17 years. Yes, still there. Co-worker of mine just resigned. Her last day is January 5th. And I was talking to her and I'm like, you're a brat. You know, you're a brat. We have talked about this. I'm the one that wanted to resign first, not you. But she said she had enough and she had to go. It's not, it's not really a bad workplace. It's just I'm ready to move on because of so many reasons. All right, where do I begin? Grab a cup of coffee. Let's chat. Mark retires at the end of the month. So fingers crossed, I will have this video up for you uh, in the next couple of days. Tonight we're packing, tomorrow we're on the road, but I think I can do the editing while I'm on the road. And we're moving back to my hometown where I was born and raised because you know Mark's from Washington State. So I'm originally from a town called Bedford, Pennsylvania it's between Pittsburgh and Harrisburg. Uh, it's right off the turnpike. It's a small little town. I'll be taking you around. We were going to build a house. Well, we all know housing prices are just astronomical. So we put that on the back burner and we're going, we built, we bought a house. So we settled on the house back in October. And uh, we just wanted to get some things done to it because it's an old house, old, like this is like very new construction compared to that house. <laughs> and um, we had to get some painting and some cracks repaired and this and that and everything else, you know, it just goes on and on and on. I do have some footage of that. There, um, before we left, we took some stuff up and we were getting ready to leave and before the paint tours came. So you could see the original colors that the previous owner had. And then I'll show you an update what the colors look like now. We only painted the downstairs though. Um, I'm going to probably, I'm not sure how I'm going to work. I'm trying to think how can I kind of, you know, hook you into checking out my other channel, Vintage Cat and Paws, which is always linked below. So maybe I'll put that over there and I'll put the new, the moving, what we're doing right now on this video right now. And, uh, so that's that. Mark's retiring. I'm still working. I'm taking my job with me. I've been working from home for quite a while now. And we already have the internet hooked up. So I just got to get uh, my desk up there and all that good stuff. Gosh, I hope the you can hear me okay. I upgraded my phone and I'm hoping the microphone works really well. We'll see how that goes. And I feel like I'm kind of headbutting the camera. What else is going on so much? So hopefully soon, like spring of 2022, big goals, big goals for 2022 for my channel, Cat and Pauls and Vintage Cat and Pauls. I'm hoping I can resign from my job in the spring and take on, take on a whole new second career of my life. I would love to do uh, some crafting and um, some junking and maybe even get a booth, uh, hit the auctions, go to estate sales. Uh, Mark wants to travel more just in the U.S. to go like out and see his mom so we can hit things out there. So I think my plan, my intent is to make this my full-time job and put out lots of, um, what do they call that? Lots of, help me out, content, lots of content interesting some to some some may not and uh a little some hauling some crafting some um everything a little bit of everything so we'll see how that goes uh, i have a uh, lots of 
circles in my head spinning what I want to bring to my channel. And uh, just get to reunite with everyone again. By the way, thank you everyone for checking in on me. Um, the kids, meaning my daughter and her boyfriend and their daughter, Chloe, my granddaughter, they just moved out. They moved out November. Where? Yeah, you guessed it, to Bedford. They are actually living in my mom and dad's old house. So they're there and you'll be seeing them. And of course, Foxy and Luna, they're pups. And uh, they also <laughs> inherited some of my mom's cats. I have the two girls and then there was still a couple other ones that my sister was taking care of, but she moved out of mom's. And so now the kids inherited them for the time being. They're old though, they're older. They were born in 2007, where the girls that I have, Tinker and Bella, they're, they're only nine years old. Uh, they were just little when mom passed. Okay, so what else is going on before I flip the camera and give you a tour? So that's what's going on. Hopefully I can resign and get my content creator game together and make good quality content. Hopefully upgrade my cheap mm, laptop because it sucks. I rarely get on it anymore. Um, it was just something to get us by for the time being. So hopefully when the house sells, we both agreed, Mark and I, upon the sale of the house, if it goes well and, you know, the bills are paid and we're looking at our hard work because we've been doing everything ourselves in here, that we're going to give ourselves an allowance out of the sale of the house. And with that, I plan to upgrade my computer. And then there, there's that, there's that, yeah. A little twang in that, isn't it? Hmm. Um, still in love with my candles. I actually have some empties. So I have some product empties and then I have some candle empties. I have not burned much. Uh, it was tough with Chloe in the house. I kind of backed out from everything I've been doing. I took a real big breather. She is now three and she gets into everything. And when she was in her twos, she really got into everything. And yeah, <laughs> I actually made a video where I was melting some stuff and it just didn't go well. Anyways. Neither here nor there. And there's that update. Uh, again, we're packing the trucks out in the driveway. We're gonna go up, come back, and clean. We gotta clean yet. And then we've already met with the realtor. And hopefully the house will be on the market at the beginning of the year, if things go well. And, um, and then we'll be up there and Mark will be doing his thing, I'll be working. So that's that. Um, it's almost Christmas. Can you believe that? It's a week away from Christmas. And guess who's hosting Christmas dinner? How did I sign myself into that one? You should see the mess. Stay tuned on my other channel, Vintage Cat and Pulse, if you want to see what the moving mess in looks like. This is the moving out mess. Up there is the moving in mess. And it's like my sisters are coming. The You know, the kids are coming over, both Brett and... Uh, Samantha, my son lives in Ohio. I don't know if I ever got around to saying that. That's how long I've been going. And um, they're coming, you know, he's coming over with his girlfriend. And I hope I'm looking in the right spot. Yeah, I think so. I get so distracted. First of all, it's like Friday wind down. And then I'm, I've been moving stuff and now I'm hot. And, uh, but I want to get this done so I can get back to doing, to moving again. And I just, my thoughts are like, ping, ping, ping. They're just everywhere. Uh, what, oh, so, but yeah, they're all coming. Plus my nephew and his girlfriend or his wife and whoever else shows up. You know, that's my, I have family, like family up there. My, my parents' family's from there. I'm from there. Uh, it's going to be hard. But I think the hardest thing is going to be is that my memory is not going to remember people. And I've lived so many places and when I look at them and say, you look familiar, but I just don't know where kind of thing. That I mean, I've moved before. It doesn't bother me. 
This is a big move though. This is a move back home. And wow, I've been going 30 years. Things, it's a lifetime ago. Um, things change in 30 years. Kids grow up and I'm, I don't know. Mm, we'll see. I'll take you along for the ride though. Okay, so I think I updated on most of the good stuff. Not really any bad stuff. Um, except for this moving stuff. Oh my gosh, stuff multiplies. Okay, word of the day, stuff. Stuff just multiplies. I take 10 things out and I swear 30 things show back up in my pal. I don't know. We've had movers here to help us with the, the strength, but we're doing the, like the U-Haul. We've had junk removal here. We've had donation upon donation upon donation done. Uh, you name it. We have tried to wean stuff out. We've thrown stuff away. We've done this. We've done that. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Boy, I don't know. But we'll get there. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. You <laughs> can just come along. All right, let me flip you around and show you what I'm sitting in right now. By the way, again, I have an empty video that will be coming out. When I, I want to record this and, and put my stuffs in the um, recycle bin, recycling bin, recycle bin, before we leave here. So, uh, again, we'll be down here like next week, and I will probably sit down then and videotape, videotape that. <laughs> I've, I donated a bunch of VHSs. They're probably going to say, what the heck are these things? Um, I'll record it and get that up for you. All right, let's go. My biggest gripe is I wish iPhone would come out with the flippable button button that you can flip over and keep recording. No, I have to stop it. Now I have to edit that in. So I'm just sitting here with uh, my stuffs. Look at that. Oh, I got that on clearance, $32.99. I told Marcus, I don't know why it was on clearance. I love it. It's been down in the basement for a long time. I got some candy stuff here. I got some little paper shred and some Christmas stuff. I got that at a yard sale free. It you put wine bottles in it, but I'm thinking I could put candles or something in it. But it it rocks back and forth. That's what you were sitting on. And um, without bumping you around, I'm gonna try to go real smooth. Getting up. Oh my god. Sucks getting old. So, I have boxes and stuffs and candles and my Christmas music playing because it just helps. And this is just a, what's left. Um, I have candles in here. See, I like to have Halloween and Christmas together. I have candles there. Oh my goodness, you guys. I, I you can't I just the amount of candles that I've taken already and then this is not our first load. We've taken stuff up in a trailer. The kitchen, let me make sure there's nothing with addresses on it. Mark snoring. I'll give you a sneak peek. Don't tell him. Oh, there's my tree. Yeah. Ready? And there's that. I don't know if you caught that, but he's still snoring. Oh, you see how dirty the door is. We got so much, so much work to do as far as like repairing. The cats did that. So we have to sand it and, and paint it. Clean up the door. We have to put new weather stripping in. Um, Here's the truck. Oh, I caught you. I caught you, kitty, kitty. Don't worry. I always do cat checks. I would not let my cats climb up here and then shut them in. If I don't see them, I go back and look for them. The light was on. It turned off. I guess I, I pussed around too much. So, we got stuff in there. And we're, we're being really careful this time about about packing because we want it all to fit. 
Oh, the garage is still a work in progress. You can see my neighbor's Christmas lights. <laughs> they did a nice job. There's Tink's favorite spot. Right there. On the water hose reel thing. Right, Bella? Exactly. So that's the moving truck. And then... The mess continues. Got lots to do. Lots and lots. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. You gotta get all that in. And uh, it should be fun. Let me turn you back around. Okay. So that's the tour of the house. At least the downstairs with all the stuff in it. Upstairs is empty. Basement is like that far away from being empty. I have some boxes I gotta break down, but we'll do that next week. Pretty much got everything up here. So let's talk about goals for 2022 for Gretchen. Well, first of all, I did close my PO box. I need to take that off my information thing that keeps popping up below when I post a video. It's closed. I got $36 back. Doesn't matter because I should have just never even renewed it. I don't even think I got anything this year in it. I will say this. When I was packing everything up, I saw things that I had. Like I have a running tally in one of my books to like send things happy mail to. And I'm like, I should just go ahead and package it up and get it out. I, I have so many people I need to send things to. And, uh. I said, no, I'll just wait till like the spring when I don't have to work and I'm setting up my craft room and this and that to um, when things are all set up because I'm going to take you along for the setup and that'll be like after on the weekends, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Oh, my train of thought. Oh, my gosh. Mm, I need some ginkgo biloba. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, ginkgo. So, um, look, this lamp says, try me. I wonder if it still works. I'm looking down, it says, try me. Oh, it does. Isn't that pretty? I got that at Tuesday morning. Okay, or what was I even saying? Because I don't remember. Oh, happy mail. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I need to get some happy mail out, so... I didn't forget about anybody. It's written down in my book somewhere. And I did get manage to get Mark's mom's stuff out. So I was proud of myself for that. For Christmas. Because we're always running the last minute with her. Trying to get her presents out. So we did that. And. Um, but goal wise. I think. Uh, I, I really don't have a catchy word. But maybe. Um change because uh, so my work sent this email about change because we have big changes coming at work not really big but you know uh, I work in the uh, healthcare uh, insurance industry and so there's always changes going on so they sent this thing out and put all these quotes about change and it says you can never change if you are um, if you live in a fishbowl you because you'll never know what lives in a pond or the sea, something like that. And I thought, yeah, you know, I want to get out and see what's in the pond, in the sea, in the rivers. So change. Let's roll with that. 2022. I think will be a good change year for me. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting and see what happens. But I guess I will wrap it up here and get back to work. And, um, uh, again, thanks for checking in on me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for staying on my, like a subscriber with me. It means the world to me. It really does. I really would like to take this channel to higher elevations and, um, just, you know, have a good time with it. Just like my other channel. And that should bring a lot of posting content and field trips and um, 
interesting, like the house decorating. I got lots of seasonal decorations and make, you know, some ideas and stuff like that. So look at my nails. Mm. They're awful. They're all chippy chippy. And, um, yeah. So hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for sticking with me and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.